Hi guys, you're not going to believe this. Today's Saturday, it's a gloomy AF day. It's a gloomy AF day and I basically got to the city on Thursday because I took Friday off and I went about, did all these cool things, went to all these Pilates classes, cool restaurants, we went to Benoit, tried out in Ducasse's French restaurant and did so many cool things around the city and I tried to upload everything to make space on my gimbal and everything got deleted accidentally. I accidentally deleted everything, every single file. I went to IGK to get my hair done. I documented the whole process where they were highlighting my hair and like talking through everything. I got such cool footage and yeah, it's all gone. You can see that it is extremely gloomy, but guess what? I looked at the weather and I planned all of this accordingly. I'm actually gonna check myself into the Phuket Spa, uh, Spa Diane or something. They do Biologique Recherche facials and I opted for the Luminous Glow, which is one of their facials where they do um, micropunctures. And then I wanted to also check out their restaurant. I have a table for three people at 8 p.m. In between, after my facial, I'm also gonna get my nails done. I like to go to Gilded Ritual, which is like a five minute walk from the hotel. So I'm gonna check in early, use their amenities, get my facial, get my nails done, and then go back to the restaurant for dinner. It's a very special dinner tonight because my brother, who's been with, with us for six months, is finally leaving to Hong Kong and seek greater adventures in life and move on to the next chapter of his life. He's gonna leave tomorrow morning and my heart is sinking and I'm really sad and I'm just gonna distract myself with a little bit of self-care and pampering. I might also try my luck on getting a table at Bar Titsu, which is their super cute, luxurious bar at Hotel Phuket. The property itself is so immaculate. One of these nights, I want to stay there. I usually stay in the city for like three nights or four nights at a time. So like, I don't want to splurge that much per night, but like definitely for a staycation, I would highly recommend. Super French and like people greet you as Madame and you really feel like you're in Paris, which is so cool. This is my look. I'm wearing ugly knockoff Amazon Uggs with some jeans, a blazer. I layered with a gray sweater and I have another um, kind of sleeveless top on top. And I really like the way this turned out. It's very effortless, layery, and it will take me well into dinner, which is gonna be great. I wish my blazer was a little more ironed, but I think it should be fine. Reservation at the spa. The spa, sir. Yeah. You're going to go down this hall, take the elevator down to the SC sub cellar. Let me write you. Okay, thanks. This is like exactly what I needed. I'm just going to chill here until they call me for my facial. The most incredible facial ever. I'm a little red right now, but I think this will go away pretty soon. I'm not even that red. It's like totally fine. And I'm obviously not gonna wear any makeup today, except for maybe some eyeliner and lip gloss or something for dinner, but I feel amazing. I was gonna walk to my nail appointment, but it is so disgusting outside. I decided to take it over. But essentially the plan is I'm gonna get my nails done, cut them short, so it's no longer annoying. And then we're gonna come back here. I hope it stops raining so I don't have to take another Uber back. But uh, come back here for dinner. And they said that you don't need any reservations for drinks at Bar Titsu, so we'll probably grab a drink before our dinner reservation. It's gonna be bittersweet because my brother's sleeping, so.
my nails are dead and they turned out so well. Wow. These two nearly crashed. I did my nails, everything was great. I'm gonna head to that hotel back again and meet Vivek and brother for a farewell dinner to cherish all the good times that he was here with us. The bathroom here is so pretty. Cheers everyone, cheers to the new adventures. Deep, say it. Tishy. Guys, it is a very cold Sunday. Um, we woke up really early at around 7 o'clock this morning to drop my brother off to JFK. He's now gone. He's on his way to Hong Kong. And um, it was very bittersweet saying goodbye. Afterwards, Vivek and I took a walk. We went to Sephora in Times Square. I don't know why we went all the way to Times Square, but we went to Times Square. I picked up some stuff. I got this gloss from Refi, Refi, and I think I'm gonna return it. I wanted the lip liner, but I picked up the lip gloss, so. Uh, so as I was saying, I'm on my way to hot yoga right now. I'm so excited. This is one class that I look forward to every week and it's a very great class. I mean, it's a really amazing class in the sense that there are three rounds of every exercise, every yoga flow. The first one, she goes with you slowly. The second one, you do one breath each move. And the third one, you're just freestyling. So it's a lot of work because you have to remember the choreography and do it by yourself. But if you wanna try something new, you have the option and the time to do that as well. And at the end of it, I feel so relaxed. I can't, I can't describe it. The studio is called Y7. It's only like a six minute walk from where we're staying this weekend. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hello, I'm Tisa, last pass. Tisa, Tisa. 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 Yeah. Is there anything you need for class? Uh, no. Oh my God, that was incredible. This class brought me to tears. I was just, by the end of it, the release is so strong and so special. We did so many hip opener, hamstring stretches, and like my pelvic area is just so like stretched out and loose. There was so much release and emotion, letting go of my brother and whatnot. By the end of the class, I was just like, <laughs> but I feel great. I feel amazing right now. It is drizzling a little bit right now. I don't know if Vivek's gonna wanna have brunch. I wanted to have brunch with him to reconnect after we've had a third wheeler for six months. Sorry, Dave. Um, <laughs> but with this weather, I doubt he'll wanna do anything. We'll probably just head back to go home and that's that, another successful, amazing weekend.